what is going on guys and welcome back to another video of mine uh, this is the secret source uh, pvp video um, and why you keep dying and ways to prevent you dying um, so first off you want to make sure that when you are building any pvp build especially if you're solo you want to make sure that your resistances physical and spell are around 33,300 I think that is the cap and that will mitigate 50% of all incoming damage so that's what you want to be aiming for for your resistances so obviously get your heavy armor on so this is just like the basic things before we get into the actual real secrets of the uh, to prevent you dying in PvP so yeah, 33,000 is what you want to be aiming for if you can. It's quite hard to get to. Uh, so you obviously need to run some heavy armour. And uh, you can also use the Lady Mundus to boost that up. And obviously don't worry about going over. If you can go over, that's even better. Because obviously people will um, have debuffs on you and can drop you below that. So, But try and get your resistances at least 30k and above. And the next thing is everyone is hitting insanely hard with the crit builds. So I would recommend that you have at least 3,000 critical resistance. I think 3,500 will um, mitigate anyone's critical modifiers. So I would recommend to get your critical resistances uh, at around 3,000 at least or 3,400 as I've put here. Um, it does sound like it's quite a lot, but it's very easy to get to. Just chuck on Rallying Cry and make most of your pieces impenetrable. You can also use the uh, CP Resilience, I believe, which will give you more critical resistance. And also the new uh, set, which is part of my uh, PvP secrets, which is the new, I think it's Nibbany Bay. Um, one piece gives you around four or five hundred critical resistance so you can easily get to that so that's the first two points get your physical and spell resistance to at least 33k or around that and your critical resistance over 3000 that's going to be your baseline which most people should be aware of anyway and the next thing is try and get your health to around 34k or you know the more the better because obviously you'll get you'll just get ganked because a lot of people are running night blade still and they're just hitting super hard and anything under 30k you're going to get wiped unless you really know what you're doing so that's the basics um now i'm going to go into the secret sources because even with all that combined people will still say i'm being obliterated they're still cutting through you and people will still cut through with you but what you need to do is you need to implement these next items that will dramatically increase your survivability some things obviously people might be aware of um, and the big thing uh, for damage is increases your damage done but what we're doing here is reducing your damage taken and that is what is really going to whittle down the damage that you're taking from other players. So let's get into it. So the first one is high elf. I think it's when they are channeling or casting a spell. Uh, they take 5% less damage. Um, I can't remember if it's from just players or just in general. But again, that is a number one race to pick for pvp or obviously nord is quite good for the ulti gen but if you want the damage reduction high elf is the absolute way to go the next thing is the undef passive uh, from the uh, vampire skill line you need to be stage three and uh, your you will take up to 30 percent less damage so that is another thing you want to add on and the next one is that you should be having uh, is the Sigic line 
and I believe it's the deliberation passive which will reduce your incoming damage uh, while channeling one of the abilities so normally like race against time uh, which again you should be running on most builds as it will make you super quick and you will mitigate 30 percent of incoming damage so that is what another one you need also i know the necromancer has not had a lot of love but i still enjoy playing the necromancer as again if you slot dead and pain you take another three percent uh, damage reduction and also another one that people do run but probably is overlooked unless you're aware of it is the uh, spectral cloak which is the dual wield uh, weapons from the black rose prison when you've got blade cloak up you will take six percent reduced damage um, and some other ones you can stack are potentates you only need two pieces as well you don't need three and it will give you 3% um, damage reduction from players. You've obviously got your minor protection, which you should be running from, uh, a, it's on a lot of skills now, but you can run it from the Sigic Ultimate, which that will give you 5% less damage taken. You should have your major protection, which will give you 10% less damage taken. And these are some sets you can run, which is Cyrodiil's Light, or Light of Cyrodiil, which will, when you're channeling, you will take 15% less damage from players. Uh, you've also got Bastion of the Heartland, four pieces give you a 3% damage reduction. You've got Buffer of the Swift, which is 10% player damage reduction. That's the full set you need to run. And the new one, which I do love, is the Nibbany Bay Battle Monster set, which will give you another 5% player damage reduction. So, obviously that's quite a lot of things. They don't stack. They are, um, they're, they're multiplicative. So, you can't say, oh, High Elf, Undeath, Sigic, oh, that's 65% less damage. It doesn't work like that. So, um obviously just stack as many as you can and obviously some people say well you can't stack it all but what you can stack on one of my characters i've got the high elf the undeath the sigic uh, i've got the dead and pain uh, i've got the spectral cloak i've got the minor and major protection and i've got the nibbany bay battle monster set and that is on my uh, Necromancer, so I'm running a High Elf Necromancer, Vampire, with the Sigic line, slotted dead in pain, and you've got Spectral Cloak on with the minor and major protection. So all that combined will make you very, very tanky, and you will mitigate a lot of the incoming damage. So as long as you combine that with what I've shown above, which is obviously the most basic things, your resistances, your critical resistances, and your 34k health at least. And you can actually go beyond that, and you can use the CPs. There's a few CPs that will that are in the blue one. Don't keep slotting it all into damage. A lot of people make this mistake. They slot all in um, to like deadly aim, and they're just all damage done, damage done. Chuck a couple into uh i think it's duelist rebuff and there's some that reduce your damage taken once again and with the red cp don't waste the red cp with um all the ones like that increases your max health or increases your regeneration pick the ones that will reduce anything that says reduce your damage taken so juggernaut passive in the red cp or um, Pain's Refuge, I mean, every time you've got a negative effect it stacks up to 20% less damage taken. So when you combine all of this, this is what is going to give you that mitigation to so much damage that is incoming because people are hitting so hard, you know, on the night blades and that, they will just rip right through you. So this is, you know, the secret sauce to combine all of these things.
some things people might know and there's other things that people might not know but this is like a perfect mixture and then obviously once you've got all these things added on as much as you can then you build your damage around it um, your critical chance and obviously um, your regen on your stamina regen, magicka regen um, but these are the base things I would use and then build around it because obviously if you build into too much damage you're just going to be a glass cannon you need to add in at least some of these things to try and mitigate some people's damage so I hope this video was helpful for people um, I know a lot of experienced players will already know a lot of this stuff um, but some of the less experienced players or if you're looking to get into PvP I would definitely tick a few of these things off as they are going to help massively with your build so stay tuned guys I will be doing more PvP secrets I might do one on uh, how to increase your damage even further and this is how to reduce the damage you take and survive better and then I'll probably do one on how to improve your damage going beyond the stat sheets that are shown so if you like the video please drop me a comment and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more